With nominations out of the way for another week, there's one room where the housemates can really let rip. <laughs> the diary room. Tuesday, day 40, 1.41 a.m. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. Jason and Victor are in the spa. Stuart comes to the diary room. Hi, big brother. Hello, Stuart. Howdy. Um, I've come to tell you about a journey that I'm about to embark on to reach spiritual enlightenment throughout the calm peace of the night. Basically, it's called the Thousand Press-Up Journey. I think every man knows when he's ready to take the Thousand Press-Up Journey and it's just my time. Stuart, Big Brother wishes you luck with the journey and looks forward to hearing of your progress. Three forty two AM. It's taken Stuart one hour and fifty two minutes to complete one thousand press ups. Yeah. Well, my journey is complete. Strange to be sitting here again. Like, this is almost as if I've never left this armchair, but I've been through so much. The man sitting here now is not the same man that was looking at you an hour ago or so. Taking a journey like that, it's an incredible experience. The 600 mark was tough. All, all your past press-ups just flash before your eyes as you... No! And that's, that's the real test there. It's almost, it's almost, it's almost, that's almost it. If you can, if you can stand between 500 and 700 and take, and take 600 on the chin and and not break, then you know the rest is the rest is a breeze. Stuart, Big Brother thanks you for sharing the journey this evening and suggests that you now get some sleep in preparation for tomorrow's journey. Yes. Cheers, bro. Ten or six AM. This week's task sees the house transformed into Big Brother Primary School, with Big Brother acting as headmaster and the housemates as the pupils. All this week, the housemates have been subjected to schoolboy tricks, which have been set up throughout the house. Mm. What did I miss? What was well, I went mm. to the loo like, uh, mm. halfway through the night, and I went, mm. and there was a cling film covering the. Ah. Because so. you said one something about it, you know. Yeah, no, Victor's the one who had this trick among his friends, you yeah. know. Victor done this before. <laughs> so obviously my finger's pointing at him right now. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> 
Morning, Stuart. <laughs> Morning, Headmaster. There seems to be a problem with the panel. Would you like me to uh, remove it? Stuart, could you please sit upright in the chair for the Headmaster? <laughs> um, uh, could we uh, get a another sort of um, cart? Is it? It's not a carton, is it? It's not a jug. It's sort of something of milk. I think, what, the four pint ones? The headmaster's noted your request. OK, cool. Is there anything else? No, that's, that's fine, big brother, thanks. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha. Ten fourteen a.m. Michelle and Shell are in the bedroom. That was crazy diving out the bed and sitting on that bench. Finally. I know it was like being back at school and still being sort of half awake when you get to school. I was still waking up on the way to school. Uh, no, thank you. The rest of the housemates are in the living area. Daniel, who's been suffering from a sore throat all week, is called to the diary room. Hello, headmaster. Morning, Daniel. <laughs> I'm not even going to acknowledge that. <laughs> right, what we got here, then? Morning, Daniel. How are you feeling this morning? All right, I can speak this morning and I can swallow, which is always handy. That's um, good to hear. Yeah, good. Um, but obviously the pain's still there, and as you can hear, my voice isn't 100% how it should be. OK, Daniel. The headmaster would like you to do a battery change. Yeah, will do. Then can I be your head boy? Is there anything else, Daniel? No, sir. Thank you. <laughs> you may now leave the diary. <laughs> Where is that coming from? <laughs> 6 or 4 p.m. Earlier today, Big Brother announced the results of this week's nominations. Both Ahmed and Becky received the most nominations and will face a public vote this week. Victor, who was unable to nominate this week, comes to the diary room to talk to Big Brother. Results of the nominations are in, and I live to fight another day. But my good mate Ahmed is up on the sinking ship. The straight talker is up for eviction. I don't want to see him go. I like the guy. He's a good. Straight down the line, hard line, honest man. In, he's like full of integrity and honour, you know. And he's absolutely hilarious as well. He's one of my favourite people in here. I'm quite glad I met him, man. The geezer cracks me up. Um, Becky's on the ship, sinking ship as well. On the up for eviction, you know. I feel sorry for the poor girl because she's just come in and she's been stuck in the middle of a war zone, but, you know, when I first saw the girl, I thought she, you know, looked a bit like Splinter from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, she looked, she, I think she was a bit tired or something, but she looked a bit, like, rodent-like. But, um, I think my view was obscured by Nadia's jaw. No hard feelings there, Bexter. Do you know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't want Ahmed to go. You know, if I had to choose between the two of them, I'd choose Ahmed. And that's not because I don't like Becky, it's just because Ahmed's my boy. You get me, so... But, you know, it's up to the public. Tuesday, day 40, 9.41pm. Michelle, Stuart, Shell and Dan are in the garden. The rest of the housemates are in the living area. Earlier today, 
Big Brother revealed that Ahmed and Becky will face a public vote on Friday. Jason, who along with Victor was unable to nominate this week, comes to the diary room. How has your evening been so far? How's your evening been? Um, quite, quite slow, to be honest. Um, is there any chance of getting um, a video? How do you feel about the nomination reveal? Um, I was shocked, to be honest. But I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that also that I'm not up, because I actually thought I would have been up this week, um, and Victor's not. But I think Ahmed... Um, I think Ahmed will come out of it all right, to be honest. Um, if it was a choice between Becky and Ahmed to go, obviously I would want Ahmed to stay because I've I've got to know him quite well, and he's a he's a great guy, and I've, I've you know I've known him a lot longer. Becky's a nice girl as well, um, but she's got a strong opinion, which is good. But she doesn't really listen to the other person's opinion. You know, her her opinion's the correct one. You know, so that's why. I, I, you know, I don't think I could see myself being really close friends with her. But um, I'm just glad, to be honest, that, um, that I'm not up. Because <laughs> um, I'm pretty surprised that I've lasted this long, to be honest. So I've just sort of embraced it now and, and I'm enjoying it more than probably just as much as the first sort of week, the first two weeks. So I'm glad that I, I'm starting to enjoy it because it is a sort of once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> It's 11.55 p.m. Ah, it on the Bar of Heritage Bicycle. Oh, Bar of Heritage Bicycle. Oh, Bar of Heritage Earlier this evening, Michelle, Nadia, Becky and Shell put on an impromptu performance of Lady Marmalade for the rest of the house. <laughs> oh, right, that is it. I'm hitting the sack. Oh, I got my feet. They all have feathers, I have. Perfect, we can go in. Ooh. Right, ladies, I would like to introduce the ladies of the Moulin Rouge. Oh, yeah. Hello, big brother. Hello, Hello. bonsoir, bon nuit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Nadia, Michelle, Shell, and <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> big brother, did you enjoy our performance? Big Brother thought it was a fine performance. Ah! <laughs> Thank what you. What did Big Brother like most about the performance? Of course, me, my breasts. Which, of course, <laughs> which, of moon, course which moon and Rouge girl did you like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which moon and Rouge girl did you like most? Oh, that's not no, fair. That's not yeah. fair, yeah. Excuse me? No. Oh, yeah. I got a Big Brother. What, what, Big Brother, which do you think was the best act this evening? Yeah. yeah. Moon and Rouge. <laughs> Bearing in mind... Moulin Rouge girls. Yeah, Moulin Rouge girls are here and they kick ass. Big Brother is always impartial. Aww. Oh, oh, yeah, these girls. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> hard work. <laughs> it is hard work. Yeah. We just came in to say hi. Big Brother, yeah. we're glad that you thoroughly enjoyed our performance because we enjoyed it as well. Yes, we did, absolutely. I'm from the bottom of my breast. Thank you. <laughs> Let's all thank Big Brother with our boobs. Okay. Thank you, Big Brother. Thank you, Big Brother. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Wednesday, day 41, 11.13 a.m. Are you dancing? Mm, it's a club. Yeah, later. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask for a PE kit because we had no one's warm one, innit? it? Got one for me as well. The rules of this week's task state that if housemates wish to take exercise during school hours, they must wear a PE kit. Hiya, um, I was wondering if we can request some PE kits. Um, Victor would like a PE kit, I would like a PE kit, and also Stuart and Shell would like one as well. If that's, that would be all right. Could you tell the headmaster why you require a PE kit? For exercise purposes. 
extracurricular yeah. activity. I've had a big fat breakfast today and I'm going to try and try and try and not eat any more biscuits today and I'm going to go on a diet and I'm going to do a little bit of running about, I think. Or I might even do steps onto the deck and area like that. But either way, I want to do some exercise. So. Yeah, same here. I'm, I'm getting fat, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want a PE kit ASAP. Come on. 12 or 9 p.m. Nadia is in the bedroom. Stuart and Jason are in the garden. The rest of the housemates are in the living area. May I sit, headmaster? Afternoon, Becky. Good afternoon, headmaster. Headmaster, did my mummy leave my pee kit here? How old are you, Becky? I think I'm... I think I'm six. Or seven. Six and three quarters. Nearly seven. How old are the rest of your pupils? I think they're 16. I'm very clever. How are your fellow schoolmates? Daniel has a pain in his throat that goes vom, 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 vom. Vom, vom, vom. Vom, vom, vom. Vom, vom, vom. Does it over and over and over and over again. And no matter what he takes for it, the medicine just doesn't work. Maybe it's um, uh, this word that my sister told me, um, psycho, psycho, psychosomatic. That's a big word for a little girl. See, I said I was clever. Why do you think Daniel's ailment is psychosomatic? Because he says, I can't eat. And then he eats, and then he says, I shouldn't talk and sing, and then he sings. Both of the bullies have mentioned it. Like, Jason said, well, you can eat all right now. And he said, it feels better now. That was a good one. It's 2.55 p.m. This is the headmaster. Could Ahmed please come to the diary room? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Ahmed is called to the diary room for the first time since the nomination results were announced on Tuesday evening. Afternoon, Ahmed. Good afternoon, headmaster. How did it feel when you heard your name yesterday? Did I? No surprise. I want to stay here, but I like to hear my name. Ahmed. That's good to hear your name. Why were you not surprised? Oh. Because they see me as an outsider. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I speak my mind. I'm honest about that, and people, they don't like it. Becky, even although she smokes, I like her. There's no physical attraction. It's easy to debate with her, it's easy to argue with her, it's easy to have a fight with her, and it's easy to have a war with her, it's easy to laugh with her, so that's the reason I like her. People thought that she was a soft target and she has been nominated. I didn't nominate her because I don't believe that the last to come in must be the first to go out. I don't believe that. I tried my best to protect her, but still, she is with me on the sinking ship. The sinking ship. Mm. Now, I will respect the vote of the public, whatever they vote. If I have to sink with the ship, that's okay. 
If I have to swim and come back into the house, that's okay. It's 11.26 p.m. Earlier today, Big Brother gave Shell the news that she received a first-class honours degree from her university. Big Brother has thrown a graduation party in the house to celebrate Shell's degree result. To have it closer to the end. So this can... is Big Brother. <gasps> Would Becky come to the diary? Oh, oh. So okay, um, next. Yeah. Roll, Roll the dice. dice. No, no, just let's. I'm out of it. Oh. Hello, Big Brother. Hello, Becky. How are you today? I'm. I'm good, thank you. I'm a graduate. How did it feel when you heard your name in the nominations yesterday? I told myself to be prepared for it. The last one in is the first one out. You stick with the people you've already known and you are afraid of the outsider. The outsider is the newest person in. That's why. Hmm. I'm a graduate, don't you know? How do you feel your relationships with the housemates has developed over the last week? I would like to think it's positive, and if it's not positive, it's because I'm a threat. And if because I'm a threat, it's because I'm a strong character, and I'm a good person. And it takes a lot of fighting. You have to be underhand to win with me, because I'm fair and square and cool and lovable and wonderful. <laughs> And obviously I would like to win. You know, the possibilities of that are like a million trillion to one. And um, so the best I can hope for is to stay. My truest feelings are that <clears throat> I have an advantage over Ahmed. I'm much more fun, you know. Um, <clears throat> and you can expect a lot more from me. I think even if it was a girl voting, she'd still vote for me because I'm fun and I'm a girl. And I'm a girl's girl as well as a girl's boy you see what I mean. And he's a man's man and quiet and solitary. But um, it's down to the public really now. Who goes? You decide. To evict Ahmed, call 090 or 1. To evict Becky, call 090 or text the name of the housemate you want to evict to 84444.